So here we have the ammonium bicarbonate. Now you can notice the ammonium bicarbonate crystalline powder at the bottom here. And what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to heat this. So I put it in a wide mouth beaker so it's a little bit easier to see. And we're going to put it on the hot plate. Now we don't want the hot plate too hot. We just want to observe what's going to happen to it. Now in this one, it's actually interesting because you get three gaseous products that come out of it. And the ammonia bicarbonate should disappear completely. Now the gaseous products are kind of interesting. Now I'll tell you one of them is water, right? Which is kind of hard to see when you're cooking it. The other one has this very distinct aroma. And it takes a little bit to heat it up to get it to the point where it's going to break apart. But when you do, you get this really strong aroma coming off of it. Now, the aroma is fairly easy to recognize if you've ever had a cat or um, uh, relaxer, hair relaxer. It's also used in some old school cleaning products. Right? It's a very accurate aroma. So hair dyes, cat urine, um, home cleaning products would be where you'd find this. So see if you can figure out what that aroma might be. Now once you figure out the pungent aroma, I know you need smell-o-vision to really get it, once you figure out the pungent aroma and you've got water, you should be able to figure out what the third gas byproduct that comes out of this uh, is. Now I'm not going to run this the entire time because it takes a while, but what's going to happen in the end here is all of this is going to disappear. It is going to break down completely into gas byproducts which are just going to dissipate into the atmosphere. Okay? And again, this is the ammonium bicarbonate.